What's up everybody, it's Josh here at Andrew White Guitars. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And today we are gonna check out the E minor pentatonic scale. It's gonna help you to visualize the fretboard a little bit more clearly, help you see where the same notes are in different places and help you see the same scale in multiple octaves in multiple places in the neck. So it'll give you a head start when you want to start jamming with your friends, if you want to know a little bit more about where every note is on the guitar's neck. So we'll get started with that now. All right, let's get started in open position. We're just gonna go over the box pattern that we did in the last couple of blog posts. So there'll be a link to those blog posts in the description. Here is the next position of the E minor pentatonic scale. Here's the next position of the E minor pentatonic scale. the next position of the E minor pentatonic scale. Here's the next position of the E minor pentatonic scale. Now here is an octave above the open position E minor pentatonic scale. Imagine the 12th fret is, is basically like your open. So everywhere you had an open string in this open position, you're going to have a 12. So instead of open to 3, you're going to go 12 plus 3 frets, which will be 15. So 12 to 15, 12 to 14, so on and so forth. You see the diagram, right? Alright, so now let's take those step by step. We're just going to go one octave at a time from E to E. And there are a couple of things that you should do to practice this that will help you out a whole lot. First, memorize the notes. So you have two notes on each string for these patterns. So just memorize two notes at a time to start out with and it'll gradually become easier. You can challenge yourself in various ways. So first two notes, E to G. Next notes, A to B. And then the last note is D up to the octave of E. That's the first position. Now, also in open position, we can go from E to E again. So we can go from this E, E, G, A, B, D, E. You can hear how it has the same quality, it's just higher. All right, so. That's cool, but you can also visualize it in many ways. So let's just take this open position. All right, if I take that exact same shape and move it up an octave, starting here, it'll look like this. You can kind of tell it, it has a similar quality. And you can kind of visualize it in a similar way compared to it doesn't quite come out the same, it doesn't quite look the same right here. Alright, another 
place you can play those same exact notes. Right here, seventh fret, fifth string. Alright, now if you remember the pentatonic pattern like right here, then that means you can start also right here. Alright, but that doesn't really look the same. I'm kind of trying to hit things that look in a way that you can uh, identify them easily and quickly. So this box pattern, everybody can, everybody can get this box pattern. And then you can move it up to the 12th fret here on the 6th string, and it's the same exact notes. Alright, so, and like I said in the blog post, there are these patterns that don't look like that. And they're still useful and they're still cool. It's good to uh, map out the fretboard in many different ways. So, the, I already mentioned this one. Alright, you can do that same thing then, starting at the 12th fret. And it's the same notes. And it'll connect to the next octave, the next octave up, and it will look like the shape that we already know. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So the next, the next octave uh, is going to be starting on this E, the same as the high E. All right, so we obviously can only play this much on starting on the high E. We can play this much starting on the B. And once we get to the G. You'll notice it's the same box pattern that we've already memorized, but it's just starting on the G string. And the G string, of course, accounts for the tuning. We all know how to tune a guitar, right? I hope. <laughs> if we're, you know, at this lesson. You know. um, Alright, so... Just keep in mind the position will shift up a fret then. That's basically what I'm doing. Alright. So if in... Another way to play that, starting on the 14th fret of the D string. Now, if you're like me and you don't have a cutaway, we're kind of, uh, it's getting tight up here. All right, here we go. So you can see how it accounts for the tuning of the B string here. Go on to the 15th fret of the 17th fret. Now, you can also play that like this, just like the open string position. It's the same deal. All right, so. So that's the E minor pentatonic scale just from E to E in all those positions. So the important thing to remember is it's going to be the same five notes. It's going to be from E to D and then back up to that E. E, G, A, B, D, 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 E. It's the same. So memorize those notes. It, it gives you an opportunity to memorize those notes. And obviously, it's also easier because you only have five notes to memorize. E, G, A, B, D, E. E, G, A, B, D, E.
All right, so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel. You know we have to do all these things. We have to have this call to action every time. It does help out, believe it or not. So uh, if you guys could help us out, we'll keep helping you out. We'll keep making awesome content and keep making it fun to play guitar every day. That's the idea, right? All right, thanks. Take it easy.